So following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here. We got to we got to this stage here, and where we can write our function as being one block take away this block. Well, this block here can be rewritten as this, and then this block here can be rewritten as uh, as this. So now, if you look at this, you've got one thing adding another thing. So imagine, imagine, just imagine that this thing here is like it's like. Just imagine it to be something like this, and then imagine this to be something like this plus um, plus x over n. And then uh, if you're trying to to merge the two together, you can you can rewrite this thing as as negative seven uh, plus one over n times this common thing times x. So uh, so if you have this thing plus this thing, you can you can just write it as this thing. Plus, well, you can imagine this as being a one plus one, and then multiply by by the common thing. Multiply by the common thing, which is this x to the power of n. So this this whole thing here can be rewritten as this. So now um, now for the cunning part, um, this thing here. If, if you look at this, um, if if um, if n is if n is one, if you put one into here, this would be zero. So the the whole block here would be one. If n is two, if n is two, you put it into here, and then uh, so two take away one will be one. So well, this thing here is going to be to be uh, either be one or it's going to be negative one. So when you add one, this whole thing here is going to be either one uh, one add one will be two. This add this will be will be zero. So so when you when you combine uh, when you combine these two, the whole thing here will either be zero or it will be two. If you think about it, n is moving from z from one to to infinity. This thing here is going to either going to be one or it's going to be negative one. This block here is going to be either one or negative one. And when you add one, or overall, the, the whole thing here overall it would either be zero or two, zero or two, zero or two. So um. So if you, if you put um, if you put one into here, this thing here is going to be well. Basically, if you put all the even numbers into here, if you put all the even numbers into here, let's say three, three put into here, and then that that would be two. This thing here will be two. Two squared will give you positive one. So so overall it would be two. So the the point is that when when n is um, when when n is an odd number, when n is an odd number, then this thing here. Is going to be two. When n is an even number, then 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 uh, then uh, then the whole thing here will be zero. This thing here will be zero, making this thing here to be zero, making the whole lot to be zero. So if you have like let's say x to the power of eight, you know this thing is going to be zero. Therefore, the whole lot is going to be zero. So you're not going to have anything for the uh, x to the power of eight term. You're not going to have anything x to the power of of six term and so on. So so this thing here will will be a two when uh, when this is an odd number. So so the trick we would use here, we we, we want a different uh, system of counting. Here we are counting. Uh, well here here the thing is let's say two, three, four. We are counting like that uh, like this one two three. But we don't we don't want to count. We don't want to count um, even numbers. We don't want to count even numbers, so set up a new system where it's like this. We know that when it's an odd number, this whole thing here is going to be a two. Um, well, set up a new system number where this thing here can, can count as one, two, three, four, five. If we use n, then we have to discard all the even ones. But um, but set up a new system, but um, but then rewrite this as uh, rewrite the n as uh, well. Write as an odd. This is an odd number. This is an odd number. Um, think about it. I've I, I've explained it badly, but um, but uh, from here we set up a new counting system where you use i instead, and I now only use odd numbers. Only use odd numbers. So from here, that will then take you to here. Um, because when when it's an odd number up here, when it's an odd number, then we know this whole thing here is going to be the number two. We don't care about um, about anything that's that's um, that's even. So uh, 
Well, anyway, from here, that will then take you to here. So now, now what? Let me think. Um, um, now push this into here. Push this into here. So you've got your your two here. So that's this two here. And then, uh, and then, and then what? Let me think. Uh, and then this two here will cancel out with this two. And then multiply this to the top. That will then give you this. So this, so this is your series. Okay.